Hi folks, Dr. Robert Barrington here with some more nutrition advice. Now this video is going to be about um, dietary selenium and how you can use dietary selenium to improve your mood. Uh, I've done a series of videos on various minerals. I've looked at chromium, um, discussed uh, magnesium, I've looked at zinc. Um, and these minerals have all been useful and they've been used clinically to help people um, overcome major depression, minor depression, anxiety and various mood disorders, particularly um, the generalized anxiety disorder, um, which is you know, reasonably common amongst um, the general population. Now, selenium is another one of these minerals that appears to be effective at um, protecting and reversing mood disorders. Uh, and a number of studies have looked at selenium and uh, its effect on uh, cognition, on uh, on mood, uh, particularly anxiety and depression. And there was one study in particular that looked at the supplementation of women um, through pregnancy with a hundred micrograms of selenium as uh, an absorbable form of selenium yeast, and that supplement was able to significantly decrease the risk of postnatal depression in those women. Um, and the, the, the scientists uh, who wrote this paper went on to suggest that um, selenium, um, that certain women are either deficient or become deficient during pregnancy. And this is one of the contributory, contributory factors that leads to postnatal depression. And this study certainly showed that selenium was benefit, uh, beneficial in that regard. Now, why is selenium benefit uh, beneficial to mood? Um, it's not really understood, and selenium is a very complex mineral. Selenium uh, plays a plays a role in human nutrition. Uh, it combines with proteins in the body and forms what's called selenoproteins. And some of these selenoproteins are very well are very well known and very well characterized, and some of them are not so well known and not so well characterized. The probably the most well known selenoprotein is glutathione peroxidase. And this is an antioxidant enzyme that is involved in protecting cells from oxidative stress. And in that role, uh, it's one of the last lines of defense in a cell against um, free radicals. Uh, and it, one of its roles is to help regenerate other antioxidants within the cell. And therefore, it can be seen as like a master regulatory uh, enzyme, uh, which, which, which maintains high antioxidant status within the cell. So it's a very important enzyme and it's completely dependent on having selenium attached to it. If the selenium levels in the blood drop, the selenium levels in the cells drop, and that means the glutathione peroxidase levels also drop. And it's been shown many times that if you take people um, who eat a normal Western diet, they tend to be deficient in selenium. If you provide them with either a high selenium diet or you provide them with supplements of selenium, which is effectively the same thing, their levels of selenium in the blood increase and their levels of glutathione peroxidase also increase. And as a result, they have more antioxidant protection. Now, this is one of the mechanisms by which selenium might be particularly beneficial against mood disorders because um stress external stress is one of the main generators of oxidative stress in the brain um it's not fully understood but stress causes the release of cortisol cortisol causes an inflammatory effect within the brain now this inflammatory effect causes the generation of free radicals and those people with a poor diet those people have low levels of antioxidants in their diet they're more susceptible to these free radicals causing oxidative stress because without the antioxidants, the free radicals can cause damaging chain reactions and they can damage uh, neurons in the brain, cells in the brain, and this causes uh, alterations in neurochemistry. So for example, uh, if you have high levels of oxidative stress in the brain, um, you might have dysfunction in the production of particular neurotransmitters. This has been quite well characterized, particularly in animals, and it is possible to induce mood disorders, um, including anxiety uh, and depression, as well as um, psychiatric symptoms. Um, some of the more major ones, um, including things like you know models of schizophrenia. We're talking about dementia. Um, some quite um, you know detrimental effects can be can be uh, modelled in animals if you expose them to high levels of oxidative stress in the brain. So this is one of the theories: is that these conditions um, are caused in in part at least by high levels of oxidative stress, and this may be caused by uh, in certain cases by stress. Um, 
Stress is a, a big generator of free radicals and it's very damaging generally to your health. Uh, and if stress is damaging to your physical health, there's no reason why it shouldn't also be damaging to your mental health. So one of the theories is that selenium, when levels of selenium are low, glutathione peroxidase levels drop, that exposes you to the damage by free radicals and those free radicals lead to oxidative stress and that oxidative stress can cause changes in neurochemistry uh, and this can have uh, quite um, you know damaging uh, effects generally on on your mood so this may be one of the reasons why selenium is beneficial there are other theories there are other uh, you know there are other selena proteins so selenium is the, the role of selenium in the body is not um, fully understood and therefore there could be other mechanisms and there are many mechanisms for example um you know that, that could explain why other minerals are uh, you know um beneficial to mood it's not always about antioxidants but one it one common factor that we find with many substances that are beneficial to mood disorders particularly anxiety and depression and we look we're, we're thinking about many of the um, chemicals that you find in plants many of them tend to be antioxidants and they all work or they seem to work in a very similar way in terms of the fact that when you measure the improvements in mood particularly in animal models so if you have an animal model of anxiety you have an animal model of depression when you see the improvements in the mood of these animals um, you also tend to find a decrease in oxidative stress levels so the two are associated that doesn't mean it's a cause and effect but uh, this is one of the theories as to how selenium is beneficial um, so what about how do you get more selenium into your diet if you need to if you feel you have a mood disorder maybe you're feeling slightly anxious maybe you're having difficulty sleeping maybe you feel you know you've got that feeling where the stress is getting to you and you're not sleeping well you're thinking about things you're worrying that's where that's the that's the dangerous area where mood disorders can develop very important to act when you start to feel like that if your sleep sleep patterns become dis, dysfunctional uh, you start to wake up in the night and you're worrying and thinking about things that's the time to act to make sure you've got plenty of antioxidants in your diet eating a high plant food diet one of the things you can do is make sure you've got adequate selenium now you could take um, a selenium supplement the best form or one of the best forms of selenium to take would be selenium yeast that's an organically bound form of selenium so the selenium is actually bound to organic minerals uh, or, or organic uh, compounds within the yeast when they grow and then they, they turn into tablets that you can then take so um, selenomethionine would want to be one of the compounds you might find in selenium yeast for example um, any selenium bound to uh, you know a kind of a protein or an organic compound tends to be quite absorbable you could take an inorganic form of selenium so that would be selenite or selenate uh, but they tend to be less absorbable but that would be better than nothing many multivitamins still contain selenite or selenate they're just inorganic forms of um, of the selenium it's effectively like taking you know rock there's no organic compound there and it's the organic co uh, kind of uh, part of the molecule that increases the absorption so therefore studies show that they, you know, these inorganic forms are not quite so well absorbed but if that's all you had access to you can just simply take more of the more of the supplement and you would still get a, an increase in selenium in your blood and glutathione peroxidase levels would go up studies have shown that supplementing with selenate for example will increase your blood levels of selenium and it will increase levels of glutathione peroxidase so it does work it's just not quite as effective the other thing you could do is you could try and optimize the amount of selenium in your diet um, most people know that brazil nuts are a very good source of selenium they're grown generally uh, in areas where the, there are selenium rich soils they you know brazil nuts are grown in only a very f few areas in the world and, the, and it's known that those areas are quite high in selenium and therefore brazil nuts tend to have uh, high levels of selenium uh, seafood also has high levels of selenium Ch tins of tuna tuna fish uh, they are uh, known also to contain high levels of selenium the problem we have with getting selenium in your diet is that you can eat a brazil nut and you can't guarantee that there is any selenium in it at all you can eat a tin of tuna you can eat some tuna fish you can't guarantee there's any selenium in that tuna fish at all so you're a certain amount of um, wishful thinking when you're um or when you're trying to get selenium in your diet that doesn't mean that you shouldn't try i think the best strategy is to eat a 
very um, plant rich diet um, supplement with uh, take foods that in your diet that are supposedly rich in selenium and then I would also take uh, personally I would take and I would always recommend taking a selenium tablet as well whether that would be in a multivitamin or uh, in uh, as a single uh, monotherapy uh, that would be the best way to 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 make sure that you're getting adequate amounts of selenium and as you see from uh, my previous video multivitamins are effective at um, uh, decreasing mood disorders and it may be in part because they contain selenium and other minerals that are effective at raising uh, improving and elevating your mood so uh, that's really you know encompassing you know the research that's looked at selenium there is the, the mechanism is not fully understood very probably something to do with its antioxidant capacity and its ability to work with glutathione peroxidase but it's not fully known what is known is that dietary selenium high levels high intakes of dietary selenium that correct a deficiency um, whether whether selenium would work if you already had optimal levels it's, it's probably doubtful what we're actually doing here is we're taking people who are very likely deficient in selenium and we're correcting deficiencies which is optimizing the intake we're not taking supra amounts of selenium we're just optimizing the intake to make sure that, that person is taking uh, adequate selenium to produce optimal amounts of glutathione peroxidase and once that happens once the optimal amounts of glutathione peroxidase are being produced um, there appears to be this antioxidant effect which may very well be beneficial against mood disorders so i hope that was interesting as always eat well stay healthy and protect yourself and i will see you soon for another video take care